Alright, we're gonna start out by doing a skit for you guys. This blueprint is so hard to understand, I can't see what we're trying to build. Get it. Oh, no. <laughs> started in 1932 in Billund, Denmark by Old Kirk Christensen. Initially, he produced and sold wooden building blocks. Fourteen years later, Christensen went to Copenhagen and bought a brick molding machine. The bricks stacked on top of each other, but they did not stick together. He and his son crafted bricks with interlock tubes on the inside so the bricks would stick together and people could build them. They stopped producing wooden blocks and focused their business on Legos. Uh, the name Lego was developed after the Danish term leg got. So the L is L-E-G, and then the G-O, so these two are like the Lego. And then the, the um, term uh, translates to play well. So that's how they intend children, which is our, which is the current target audience, to play with the bricks. They want them to play well with them. This is the current Lego logo. Um, it uses bubble lever letters instead of sharp edged letters to give it a kid-friendly uh, feeling. Large letters are also easy to read for young children. Only four letters, so that appeals to the young target audience that Lego has. Um, it's colorful, so that's also appealing to young children. And then the red and white in Lego are um, the colors of the Danish flag. And then this is the current Lego campaign. So the current perception of Lego is fun building toys for kids that want to have fun. And then, um, the target audience is children and adults with kids or parents. And then, uh, the, yes, this is this is their website. Um, the, so Lego right now currently is selling to two audiences, uh, grown-ups and kids. There is ethos on the grown-up side in the magnifying glass and the shopping bag that the parents are holding. Um, those show reliability to parents and they see that those parents are buying Legos that it's trustworthy. Um, pathos in the grown-up side is a clean white background that's appealing to larger audiences or older audiences. And then it's a simple font on the Explorer. And then um, logos is grown-ups can enjoy Legos too. That's why they're selling too. And then on the kids' side, it's a lot more fun background. It's got a bunch of pictures and like stickers that kids love to play with. Um, the kids are holding a phone and a trophy. The phone represents like video games having fun. The trophy is like you're a winner by Legos. Um, the font is more bold, bigger, <coughs> fun. That's appealing to kids. And then. Those, or, sorry, the logos would be kids love Legos. So that's the website. Alright, so this is one of uh, Lego's current advertisements that they use. So this image here is one of Lego's current advertisements. It just displays the target audience who are children because children are here playing Legos. Uh, the bricks the children are playing with have many bright colors, which means youthfulness, happiness, and creativity. The white background uh, creates a contrast between the bright colors and just the simple white. Uh, ethos is established by displaying the actual product, which are the Legos, and then the box right here has the Lego logo, so you can see that it's a reputable company. Pathos is established by showing how the children are happy, happily building, they're, they're using creativity, and it provides a warming effect to the people who are viewing it. Older people might have a view of nostalgia as they may have played with Legos when they were younger. From earlier, children are playing well with their Legos and that's how the Lego company intends the children to use their product. And this is uh, one of the Legos past ads from the 1980s. Uh, the target audience is displayed again by the two children who are the center of the ad. The two kids are, play are displaying like the Legos that they built with the product. 
Uh, the bright and vibrant colors the bricks are made out of pop due to the dull brown background, so that creates a little bit more of that contrast. Uh, also, the ages here are shown that it's for the ages 7 to 12 and ages 3 to 7, which are like the still children range. And um, the text the text there shows how children should be creative with their Legos and have fun while playing with them. Ethos is showed by showing the actual product which the children are holding and it also shows the giant Lego logo there so it also shows that it's a reputable company. And the um, pathos is used with the ch by the children because they, are, have, they have smiling faces which means that they are happy and they enjoy using Legos. Uh, older adults who have lived through the 1980s might also have a view of nostalgia because they might th have some throwbacks to like the things that the, the kids were wearing and then they also have the feeling that uh, they're the Legos that they played with when they were uh, little. And Logos is used uh, because with the Lego bricks it's logical that the kids are having fun with them because they have the smiling faces and they look happy. Introducing. <laughs> All new professional like start logo. Okay, so our new target audience is for young professional architects, ages 18 to 30. And um, we thought this would be a good idea because Legos can be used, as you can see here, um, in many ways to create realistic buildings. Um, <coughs> and um, <coughs> um, our target audience is mainly uh, targeted to people who are just out of college and are um, starting off their careers in, ar in architecture. Um, and they mainly live in a city, that, which is why. Uh, logo includes the city on it, um, and it's more three-dimensional than the past like uh, Lego logo, and it looks like Legos. Um, 